Hey everyone, it's Brie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. And I want to talk about this whole situation that happened on the Royal House of the Potomac. Now, I'm not going to play any of the clips because Bravo be copywriting left and right. I got copyrighted so heavy when I reacted to the trailer for this season. Um, so much so that I had to like try to edit some parts of the whole trailer like out of my video because it was like blocking it for people. Like no one would have been able to watch it and so yeah i'm not gonna play the clips but i will say i have seen a good amount of the situation i saw what happened prior when mia was talking to um to peter about his uh business deal with wendy and him being all upset because she didn't uh announce her presence when she was coming to bar one then of course i saw this clip everyone has pretty much seen this clip on Twitter, Instagram, wherever, of uh, this altercation that happened where Mia threw a drink on Wendy. And then I also saw the aftermath of it um, when everyone w went back to the house. Some of the things that people were saying. Um, and then Wendy, when she left. And so I've seen pretty much this entire situation unfold. And I just really wanted to talk about it because there's a lot to unpack here with the situation. And I've seen a lot of people um discussing the situation and for me it's like so obviously this situation has fueled conversations around colorism a lot of people are accusing the cast members the other cast members um of colorism this has been a topic of conversation that has happened for i want to say the past one or two seasons um where it just seems like the darker skinned women on the show get way harsher treatment not even just from um cast members but also from fans sometimes also from andy like you know he's been accused of giving special treatment to certain people and you know at first i didn't want to believe it or feed into it um granted they definitely had some valid points um in terms of like you know with colorism and stuff like that and uh, uh, in terms of like there being unfair treatment or certain certain words being used right like when wendy and candace do something it's aggressive but then when robin and giselle do something it's just friendly shade right and so i understood that but i didn't want to believe at my core that any of the women on this cast were colorists until now um and granted colorist is still such a harsh word same thing with racism same thing with being prejudiced same thing with being discriminatory those are very harsh and powerful words and so i try to be really careful with labeling people as that but um what i can say though is they are displaying a lot of behavior that can be seen as colorist behavior and the reason why i say that is because the way that they villainize both candace and wendy is just ridiculous especially with wendy and i i never and still to this day i i don't i don't understand it like i i genuinely don't understand where all the hatred comes from with wendy yes wendy has had her little moments right on the show yes people got annoyed with her throwing her degrees in people's faces but the amount of hate this woman gets um both on the show and again online is just so unwarranted to me all of these women are shady and catty and, and do and do stuff and i don't understand for the life of me why everything that wendy does angers people so much like that's that's really the energy that i've seen for people everybody is so angry when wendy does anything says anything rolls her eyes people immediately are just like oh my god i hate her i can't stand her and it's like but what did wendy do for real like i said yeah she has her moments but so does everybody on this cast it's just so crazy to me how even in this situation where mia is throwing a drink which i would consider to be a physical attack in this situation, people are still finding ways to defend Mia or saying that, you know, um, Wendy was the one that, you know, egged it on. And it's like this whole situation started because of Mia. She couldn't mind her business. Granted, yes, Peter brought her into his business and he's, he's messy for that. But I already know how Peter 
is on these housewives shows but for her to feel like for her to feel so entitled to like come to his defense and to be so aggressive about it with her when it has literally zero to do with her is wild to me and the fact that it escalated to the point where she threw a drink in her face it's just so unwarranted and it just doesn't make any sense because it's like like literally this has nothing to do with her yes peter told her about it but for her to react in this way over a situation that doesn't affect her at all it's just so wild to me but the thing that really disturbed me about this whole situation it was the lack of accountability held for mia literally after this whole situation happened first of all i i, I will say this too like the way that Giselle and Robin handled this situation and the way that they were acting in the situation really disgusted me and really made me look at them differently. I've already kind of stopped liking Giselle for a while now. And Giselle, like, honestly, when it comes to the Real Housewives of Potomac, for most of the seasons, I've liked every single person on the cast. I've always had, like, my little favorites here and there, and I still have my favorites. But I genuinely liked everybody on the cast for different reasons, even, you know, when they fall short or when they do something I may not, may not agree with. But Giselle recently, especially with that whole thing with Chris and her trying to make him out to be something and try, her trying to come up with this fake story to make him seem like he was like you know trying to make her uncomfortable on purpose and you know like what she tried to do to, to Candace and Chris was just so disgusting that I, I was done with her then but then to see the way she handled this and like it's just weird because even when Mia kept coming at her and when because okay when Wendy was going back and forth with Mia she was defending herself it's like, I don't understand. And this is the other thing, too, I don't understand about people. People think that when you come at them, you're just supposed to sit there and be quiet. I, I never understood why people think that if you antagonize somebody or if you come at somebody about something, why do you expect them to just sit there and not defend themselves or to not match your energy or to even, you know, because that's, that's my whole thing. It's like, if you, and you if you intentionally come at somebody and you're trying to purposely get underneath someone's skin, you cannot tell them how upset to get. That is my number one rule. If you are intentionally trying to piss somebody off, you cannot tell them how angry or upset to get. You cannot tell them how to react, how to respond. You just got to handle whatever comes at you. And so for me, it was weird that everybody was just like, Wendy, why are you, you know, egging it on? Like, you know, why are you attacking her? Like, you need to sit down and stop trying to egg. It's like, is no one going to tell Mia to stop? Like, I'm so confused. And then the way Robin, like, pulled out her phone, like she was a fucking middle schooler recording the whole thing. I'm like, y'all are like, y'all are three years old. Like, grow up. And again, Robin used to be one of my favorites. But this season has really made me look at her in a different light. And I just really don't like the way... That she's been acting towards Wendy. And just acting in general. I think same thing with Giselle. Like, oh, I just, I hated that. And the way that Giselle was like, oh, is Mia okay? Mia threw a drink in Wendy's face. And then stood up over her. And y'all are asking if Mia is okay? What about Wendy? And that's the thing. I can imagine the, the mental, like... I'm sure there was a lot going through Wendy's head at that moment. And she probably was just so stunned and distraught that she was even in the situation. And then on top of that, trying to navigate how to respond. Because we all know that, you know, certain people aren't allowed to respond a certain way. And Wendy already has um, a tainted reputation on this franchise because of the narratives that they've been trying to spew on her. And... I, I don't know. I just couldn't imagine how frustrating that would be. Not only to have a drink thrown in my face for a situation I got with somebody else, but then for everybody to rally around the person that attacked me, that has to fuck with your mind a lot. And I don't blame her at all for leaving. I don't blame her at all. I would not want to stay in that house after that, especially feeling like... Because I can imagine, too, she probably didn't feel supported in that moment either. Now, I did see... That, you know, Ashley went to check on her 
after the whole ordeal happened and that's kind of one of what i wanted to get back into as well with the whole colorist thing because people have accused robin giselle and ashley of being colorist and ashley um actually addressed it on her social media um funny enough though uh giselle and robin didn't but whatever um but ashley did actually went to her instagram and she addressed it and she you know basically said that like no like i'm not i'm not colorist like i we all these women have itches with each other but we also also love each other at the end of the day that's what she says so and i don't doubt that ashley cares for the cast but i don't know if i could say that for the other cast members um but with that being said and seeing how she did you know she was kind of there for wendy in the end i i don't think that ashley is colorist and i i and ashley even said at the table she was like you know had that been me i probably would have reacted differently like you you can't do that like if you throw a drink in my face like i'm gonna react a certain way too so yeah i do i don't think ashley you know i know she's been accused of that in the past um especially with her dealings with candace and stuff like that but that that i think that that too is like the thing right it's like mia can do something like this and it just gets blown over and like no one cares but god forbid you know candace makes a your mama joke and it's like the end of the world and she's a horrible human being and it's like everyone's not being held to the same standard and it just seems like the women that are darker skinned on the cast get ridicule ridiculed the most even if they're in the midst of being attacked and it's just so crazy and like i said it just really really made me disgusted and even seeing the aftermath of it seeing like just hearing what giselle was saying too like i remember when robin had said like oh where's candace she's like oh candace is the least of my worries you came for you came for the girl's husband like why do you have animosity towards her number one Number two, when they were sitting on the couch and Giselle just kept saying all this stuff about like, you know, or even her saying like, oh, I feel like tomorrow's going to be a good day. And I feel like she said that because she knew Wendy was leaving. And that's just so fucked up. It's just, oh God, I really hate the way the situation played out. It really, really disgusted me to no end. And I really fell for Wendy. And I would not be surprised if Wendy left um the real housewives of potomac after this i believe candace said she was leaving i believe i saw um a tweet and i watched an instagram live where she kind of alluded to the fact that she won't be back for another season because she said something about like either i have to quit or they'll have to fire me because i'm not coming back next season so something like that um but I don't know how true that was because I feel like it would have gotten reported somewhere like, oh, Candace confirmed she's not coming back next season. So no one like brought light to it. But I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised if both Candace and Wendy was like, I'm done. Candace, not even just for the for um any type of discrimination with the cast, but just with all the stuff that happened with uh Chris that alone would make somebody want to leave because it's like y'all are not about to bring my marriage into this show as a storyline and make him out to seem like some kind of like predator or, or not a predator but a you know someone that is like you know being inappropriate with other women on the cast and trying to make him out to you know seem like that like that alone would make me want to leave but it's just like i don't know the favoritism not even just favoritism because again it's just like all these women have said horrible things on the show and but none of them have really gotten physical like that except for monique of course and then now mia and i i really i'm really curious to see how they're gonna handle this moving forward and i'm really curious to see how this is gonna get addressed on the reunion and how andy is gonna handle it because you know they tried to destroy monique for what she did to candace and so i'm really curious to see how they're gonna handle mia and if they're going to try to use the excuse of, oh, well, Mia didn't physically put her hands on anybody, so it's not the same thing. I, I really wonder in what ways are they going to try to gaslight the situation to make it seem like Mia didn't do anything wrong. But this is just so, again, disgusting across the board. I really wonder how it would have went if Candace was there and if Mia would have even tried that while Candace was there. I'm not sure. But... Yeah, I'm definitely seeing some very questionable behavior um, 
from the show and from this cast. And again, I don't want to just outright call somebody a colorist, but there is there, there something needs to be questioned here, like because is people aren't being held to the same standard, and there's definitely some unfair things happening, you know, with this cast and with how with um situations and how they're being handled. And so I'm really curious to see um what the conversations are going to look like after this because yeah, I'm just like I I'm yeah, but you know, all in all. And again, too, like I I don't understand the the hatred that people have for like cuz again, usually when it comes to like the real housewives, right? Everyone has their favorites and everyone has who they dislike. And usually every single housewife has, you know, both of those sides of, of the coin. Where some people hate them and some people like them. I don't ever see people slandering Giselle. Or no, I do see people slandering, slandering Giselle. But I don't see people coming hard at them like I do some of the other women. Like Candace and Wendy and Monique. Like, it's just, it's just not the same across the board. But I'm glad that people are seeing this and they're starting to call it out because it, it literally just isn't fair the way that they're, that they're handling on this. And I'll be honest, like, I actually really like Candace. <laughs> like, and that's the other thing too. The fact that Candace was the one that got, you know, attacked. And don't get me wrong, I like Monique. I actually like them both. And I think that they both had their wrongdoings in that situation but you know ultimately Monique was wrong for putting her hands on Candace I do agree with that um but I didn't necessarily want Monique to get fired for it or I, I, I don't know that situation is just complicated within itself um but I I like Candace but even in that situation the way that people try to villainize Candace and say that oh she deserved to get her hands put on it's just like I, it's weird the way that people view these situations is weird. The way that people justify this behavior is weird. And again, I really feel for Wendy. I really feel for Candace. I feel for both of these women um, that have had to deal with all of this on the show. On top of all the ridicule that they get from the audience. And then the favoritism at play um, with these reunions and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I don't know. Really curious to see where the franchise goes after this. Because... The whole internet is talking about this. Like, it's trending on Twitter. Everybody is talking about it, so they have to address it. Whether it be... Well, the, the season is already filmed, so they would have to address it at the reunion. And I hope they do. I hope they don't just brush past this. This needs to be a discussion on this show. And... Yeah, we'll we'll just see what happens after this. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below about this whole situation. And if you guys enjoyed this video... Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys know when I drop new videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.